Don't make the mistake of using bad software. You're gonna waste a lot of money, you're gonna waste a lot of time, and you'll probably get so frustrated, you'll just give up on dropshipping entirely. But luckily, there is good software out there that you can use to automate your dropshipping business. Instead of wasting time trying to find it yourself, I'll show you right now the best software for beginners who are looking to start dropshipping on eBay. When you start selling on eBay, the first thing you're going to have to do is to find some winning products to sell. And to help us with that, we use an eBay product research tool called Zeek Analytics. Now, I love this software because before finding this, product research used to be a very tedious and long process. Now, with this software, we can find winning products to sell on eBay within minutes. It really supercharges the entire process for us and is very simple to use. And this is really important because product research is the most important part of dropshipping. If you find the right products to sell, you can be very successful with this, but you can never be successful if you don't sell the right products. So this is a software I use to help with that. It's called Zeek Analytics. And by the way, if you wanna follow along as I show you all my favorite dropshipping tools and software, then make sure to download my top dropshipping tools ebook. Inside of this, you can see all of the software I'm covering in this video, plus some more that I'm not gonna have time to mention or talk about today. And if you sign up for any of these tools using the links inside this ebook, you're gonna get the best deal possible. For instance, you can get a free trial of this software with the link that's inside my ebook. So make sure to download this, it's free. You can get it at the first link in the description down below. Now, once you sign up for Zeek Analytics, you're going to see that there are many different product research tools available inside of it for you to use. But today, I just wanna show you three of them, my three most used ones that I use every single time I'm doing product research. The first one we're gonna start with is called literally the product research tool. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that icon to pull up that tool. Now, what this does is any keyword or any word that you plug into the search here, it's going to search through eBay to see if anyone is selling that product or any products with that keyword in it. And they can even identify for you if those other people are drop shippers. It's best if I just show you an example of how this works. So what I'm going to type in here is the word mainstays. Mainstays is a brand that only Walmart sells. So if someone on eBay is selling a mainstays product, they are probably drop shipping it from Walmart onto eBay. So I'm going to use this as a way to find other drop shippers. I'll go ahead and click search on that. So here at the top of the search results page, Zeek Analytics gives us a lot of information that tells us how well this keyword is doing. In this case, the keyword was mainstays. So what it always does is it analyzes, analyzes up to 100 listings. And it tells you, hey, of those 100 listings, 74% of them have been successful, meaning 74% of them have sold at least once. This is the average product price of all those listings and the sales earnings for all of those listings, which is over $16,000. What I really like here is also this wheel right here, because this will tell you if one single seller is dominating the market. If one of these sellers matched up to 100% of all the sales, then that means that they have stolen all of the sales for that keyword and it's going to be very hard to compete with them. But as you see for this keyword, it is well spread out, which means that there is opportunity for us to come in here as well. And we don't have to worry so much about just competing against one person that for some reason is dominating the market. But honestly, what I really care about more than anything else is down here because these results are really the most important thing for what I'm looking for. So all the search results page are gonna look the same. On the left here, it's going to tell you the seller's name. Then it will tell you the amount of feedback that seller has, as well as how many times this particular item has sold in total, which is over 100 times. Sorry, how many times it's sold in the past month, which is over 100 times. Then over here, you can see the total amount that it sold, which is over 670 times. All this information is helpful. But for right now, all I care about are two things. One, is this person a drop shipper? And two, how much feedback do they have? So Zeek Analytics is actually able to analyze whether these sellers are drop shippers or not. This used to be something we had to do on our own. Now it's able to do that for us. And you can see right here, it has identified both of these sellers 
as dropshippers. And there's a whole bunch more down here as well. But let's look at these two right here. And like I said, the second thing I care about is how much feedback they have. The more feedback the seller has, the better, because that means they have more sales that we can analyze. So both of these sellers have a lot of feedback. This one has 1100, this one has over 800. So I'll start by looking at this seller store right here. And this button, if I click it, will actually scan this seller store. Why is that important? Well, we know this person is a drop shipper, right? So we are really interested in what they are selling successfully. Because if they are drop shipping certain products successfully, we can drop ship those same products successfully as well. So coming to the results, you can see the results here at the top are very similar to what we saw before. This person is doing about $4,000 a month in sales. But again, what I really care about more than anything else is down here. Because this shows us, okay, this product right here has sold 81 times in the past month. This one has sold 68, this one has sold 56, this one has sold 42. So you can see many, many products that have sold multiple times in the past month. That is what we want, especially from a store that does drop shipping. And the really cool thing is you can go down all of these products, find them on a supplier's website or a similar product, and we can drop ship those items ourselves. And then you can go ahead and scan another seller store and do the exact same thing for them. Once you actually decide which items you wanna sell, you'll wanna actually list that item up for sale. And we have software to help us with that as well. Now, the old way of listing products onto eBay used to be very tedious and long. Basically, if you wanted to list up an item like this, you'd have to copy the title, go over to eBay, paste it in. You'd have to take the price and mark it up, use a calculator to cover all your different fees that you have. You have to save every single image here to your desktop and then upload it into eBay and copy the description and paste that as well. It could take several minutes. It, it was very long and annoying process, especially if you had lots of items you wanted to list. Luckily, it is much, much faster now with software. So if I wanted to list this item, all I would do is come over to the URL and I would copy that. Then coming over here to this software, this is called AutoDS. And again, the link to it is inside that ebook that you can get down below. And AutoDS does a whole lot to automate our drop shipping stores for us. But it always starts with adding a product. So if I click here where it says add products, and then I'll click on single product, and I'll go ahead and paste in that URL right there. Now, if I were to click publish the store, this would be instantly live in my eBay store. It would transfer over all the images and the description and even mark up the price because we set that up in our settings already. But I always like to do a little bit of editing first. So I'm gonna go in, going to click on edit now quick. And that's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna pull in all of this information, but it will also give me a chance to actually modify the information myself, which I often like to do to better optimize it. So we see it brought over the, the images right here. You can see all of them. And it even optimizes those to give us the most that we can upload to eBay, which is important. If there's different variations, which often are different colors, those would appear here, but this is only available in one color. Let's say there were multiple colors though. I could delete the ones I don't want and only keep the ones that I want you can see that it automatically populates things like item specifics, which is something that eBay likes, and it pulls in the description. And then here's the title as well. So there's some really cool features I like about AutoDS. For one thing, if you want a more unique description, you can actually click Optimize Description with AI, and artificial intelligence will rewrite the description. It will be accurate, but rewritten so it's unique. So that's a really cool feature. You could also do that with the title. However, I don't like when AI creates titles for me. I like to do it manually myself because I find that they turn out better and better optimized for eBay. So what I'm talking about with that is this title right here is a title that's on Walmart. That is optimized for Walmart, but it is not optimized for eBay because there's different words we want in here for eBay as opposed to the ones that are given to us by Walmart. So let's go ahead and optimize this. So what I first do is I really eliminate any sort of keywords, sorry, brand words or different things like that, like Better Home and Gardens, Glendale, we don't need that. 
I want to just describe what this item is. This is a five shelf bookcase with doors with a rustic gray finish. Okay, great. But what else can we put in there? So I come over here to Zeek Analytics and I'm going to click on the tool on the left called Title Builder. This is the third tool that I use with Zeek Analytics. And what I'll search for here is basically what this item is. This is a five shelf bookcase. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And let's search on Zeek for that inside the Title Builder. And what it tells you over here are some words that people search for when they're looking for a five shelf bookcase. So that keyword itself is really highly searched with over 6,000. This, they say, throw in the word storage. They say wood, we have the word wood in there. Shelving wide, let's see, framed, 71 inches tall, tall, five tier. So all these words, if they make sense and they fit, we're going to include them. So let's start using some of these. Let's do tall. So five shelf bookcase. So maybe tall five shelf bookcase with doors, rustic finish. It also says storage. So let's include that. I like to get rid of any sort of commas and things like that. Um, because what we're trying to do is Right here, it tells you you've used up 59 of 80 characters. 80 is the most number of characters that you can include in the title by eBay. So we wanna maximize that as much as possible, which is why I delete things like commas. They're just really not necessary. So we included storage. If it was adjustable, I would include that, but I don't think it is. Rack, five tier organizer. Let's go ahead and throw the word organizer in there. Storage organizer. All right, we need about 10 more characters. And wood, we have that, right? No, we don't have wood. So let's throw that in there. Wood. And anything else? Um, shelving. Organizer. Shelving. Perfect. Well, that went over a little bit. So let's shorten this word with just by doing W slash. So this is tall five shelf bookcase, wood with doors, storage, organizer, shelving, rustic gray finish. Still a little bit too long. So let's just get rid of the, the width entirely. So this is tall five shelf bookcase, wood doors, storage, organizer, shelving, rustic gray finish. I like that. What I like to say is that the first few words should fully describe what this is. So this is a tall five shelf bookcase. That's it, that alone describes what it is. The rest of the words we just kind of throw in there to further optimize it and make it even better. So now all I have to do is click where it says save and import and that item will now be live and in my eBay store. And because I use AutoDS to actually list this item, if the price changes on Walmart, AutoDS will automatically update the price on my eBay store. If the item goes out of stock on Walmart, AutoDS will automatically make sure that the item goes out of stock in my eBay store. So it really automates everything from this point on in terms of price and stock monitoring. Once you have some items up for sale, the next thing that will happen is that one of your items is going to sell. At that point, you need to make sure that your item gets ordered from the supplier and that the supplier ships the item to your customer. And of course, we have software that can help us do that as well. Now, the old way of fulfilling orders used to be pretty annoying. We would have to log into our eBay account and come to where all of our orders were, and we would find one of the orders and copy down part of the shipping address for that order. They come over here to Walmart, add the item to the cart. It would ask us, what's the billing address? We would use our billing address, but for the shipping address, we would enter in the buyer shipping address, which we would have to copy line by line from eBay place the order, then do it all over again for the next order, and then for the next order and the next order. So it just kind of took a lot of time and it's quite annoying. Well, the good news is that if you use that software, I already mentioned AutoDS, it comes with a Chrome extension. And that Chrome extension will actually copy the shipping address for you from the order and then paste it into all the fields when you are checking out on websites like Amazon and Walmart and, and any of the suppliers that it works with. So now with just one click, it will copy over the entire address and is a huge time saver for you so you don't have to do it all manually yourself. 
A few days after ordering the item, you should get a tracking number emailed to you by your supplier. But over the past few years, there's been an issue with some of these tracking numbers. If you drop ship from Amazon, you will often get these Amazon tracking numbers that you shouldn't really be uploading into eBay. And if you drop ship from Walmart, well, they sometimes have people hand deliver the items and there's no tracking number at all. That's where Track Taco comes in. Track Taco lets you generate tracking numbers so that you have something to upload as a placeholder for your missing tracking numbers. It's very helpful in situations like this and it's really essential if you're going to be drop shipping from Amazon onto Walmart. Now, the last two tools that I showed you, the AutoDS Chrome extension and Track Taco, are the ones that I use to fulfill orders and to deal with tracking numbers. But there is actually another solution to those problems that I wanted to show you as well. So remember AutoDS, the software I showed you before? Well, you can actually set it up to automatically order items for you and it will then automatically generate usable tracking numbers and upload those tracking numbers for you as well. So if you wanted a fully automated solution, that is available with this software as well. Finally, let's cover some honorable mentions that aren't really designed for dropshippers, but there's still things I would recommend for dropshippers, especially if you're working with virtual assistants. First, we have Google Drive. Google Drive is of course a great way to stay organized with all your different documents and things like that. And I create things in here that I share with my virtual assistants so that we can collaborate better. Generally though, I communicate with my virtual assistants through the app Signal, which is really similar to WhatsApp, but it's much more privacy focused. So I feel a lot more comfortable sharing things in there with them and communicating with them using this app. Finally, I share all of my passwords with my virtual assistants using a password manager called Bitwarden, which I suggest for everyone to use anyway so that you can have unique, strong passwords for all of your accounts. Again, if you want links to any of the software covered in this video, make sure to download my free Dropshipping Tools ebook, which can be found at the first link in the description down below. And before you get started with dropshipping, it's a really good idea for you to first learn about the best suppliers you can use for eBay dropshipping. To find out what they are, click on this video right here, and I'll see you over there in just one second.